Hey guys, me Punk. Welcome back to Ori and the Blind Forest. So, without further ado, we are going to go to the tree. Insert that water vein. And do uh, the first of three main dungeons in the game. Uh, very uh, oddward like. Grinso Tree. Waters of Nimble once flowed through this very tree. Now it's all rotten and dried up. Rotten and dried up. We shall restore the flow. Then we go to a tree. Heart must be found. So yeah, this. Uh, so each dungeon in Aura in the Blind Forest has a mechanic. So as we can see here, we have like an, the uh, the old school style of left and right screen, uh, like Pac-Man or other NES games like that. And amongst other things, we learn a new ability here. And the finale of this dungeon is, uh, I said it before, but I think it's the hardest part of the game. Well, well, yeah, I think either that or the other one, but we'll get onto that later, but. It shouldn't be too bad, because I kind of know where I'm, what I'm doing now, but with the first time playing it, it's pretty hard. So I can't target those, apparently. So, yeah, as you can see on the map, it goes all the way up, and, uh. Well, I think there is a, a, I think there's a, either a life uh, container or a uh, soul link container, which if you don't get it in the dungeon, you can't get it ever again, I think. I think that's what I look like on the, I think that's what it looked like on the map, so, uh, Lord knows I don't know where it is, but, uh, oh well. So far, so good though. This has not been too bad. Yeah, as, as far as I know, there's no way to get back to the dungeons once you've completed them. Ow. Oh. Oh. Well, didn't save, did I? Forgot all about that. Uh, let me skip ahead. Okay, I'm back down here, so... Okay. I get a little bit confused where I need to go. There we go. Now you're thinking of portals. Yeah, like, you, you, you kind of get yourself lost a bit, uh... Here? Oh, I know this. This is very portal-like, so here you have to redirect the... the fire of this, uh, plant. Woo! Not only that, but I also have to uh, carry on with it. Put that there. I think. No, that's not right. Hmm. Wait, no, 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 no. I've been an idiot. Oh. There we go. Easy. Thanks to the soul links. I'll save it here. We have a boss. Well, sort of. Oh. Save it. Okay, so here we need to. Where am I? Where am I? I'm over here. See, so yeah, like, as you can see, like, you, you kind of like you're hidden behind the log and you're like, where am I? So I need to get four um, fragments of the spirit gate. Oh. Well, there are two.
Oh. Death. I just heard a, a bird. I heard an oddworld bird. Wow, this is actually a lot easier than I remember it being. Then again, I, 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 I've said before that I've recently played through this game, so uh, fresh in my mind. Which is probably a good thing for playthroughs, honestly. Less time spending uh, pissing around. Ah, oh, here we are, boys. Now, this is the ability I was talking about in the last part. This is the one that I absolutely love, and I think it changes the, the way the game's played a lot. Cries of dismay I hear deep inside this celestial tree. Reem was agile, he dashed through the air. Listen to his voice, his wisdom, he shares. He shared. Shared. Shared wisdom. Give me your power. Bash. Hold down, basically, yeah, so you, you hold down the ability and you leap in the direction you want to go. This is freaking cool. It slows down time and you go in a different direction. So the arrow is where you're going to go. You can do this to enemies, so the one, the other direction of the arrow, so the other end of the arrow that isn't pointed, is where they're going to go. And you can do that to enemies, you can launch projectiles, fired by enemies with it. And it, honest to God, is the coolest thing about this game. The coolest attack, anyway. So I just want to get up there, ignore you, and use it as just a platform. And the fact it has a cool sound effect and it goes slow-mo, like that, it's just, it's cool. I freaking love it. Not only that, it's also the most uh, dynamic ability in the game. You use it a lot. Okay. So as you see here, I need to put that down there. And then you go down there and you fire it there. <laughs> It's honestly the coolest thing. It really is. Fire you. Ow, I got hurt. Oh, it didn't. Just want to ignore it. Slashes that. I'm going to save it here. Actually, I can't. There's an enemy in the way. Don't want to die. Save it. Actually, you know what? Have I got enough ability points to do something? No, I need two now. Got to start saving, boys. Oh, there it is. So that is the... Um, that is the thing I didn't get before, I think. I think I skipped it. We'll have to try and find it. We'll find a way to get it. Fire it from here. Fire it. There we go. So now, ooh. boom! Another so energy cell. And then use that. Go up there. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the uh, the finale areas of stages use this ability. So hang on. Let's think about this. So, I want, oh, that's kind of it's a bad way of doing it, but I did it. Okay. There we go. Easy. Yeah, so this is, like, you've got no cooldowns on your abilities, you just do it when you want. So, a lot of this section, uh, oh, these lasers. Got a bit solid here. Oh no. You see this enemy type later in the game quite a lot. <laughs> cool as hell. So. Ah. 
Yeah, so there's an achievement for saving all these different wells throughout the game. I honestly get it the first time around, so uh, should get it this time. Okay, well, this is coming up to, I think, the end. Yep. So this is the heart. The heart of the gizmo tree. Ginso. Ginso. Like, engine. Enginso. Ginso. There we go. Once kept the element of water safe, but now corrupted or foul and decayed. We have to help it. Cure it and cleanse all the blights by removing the corruption on both sides. Okay, let's go for left then first. Oh, hang on. <laughs> there, you see what I mean? Like, it's just so freaking cool. Hey! Where are we going? I'm over here now. You. So really close. Ooh, got it. Yeah, it's left side done. Okay. Oh, I'm getting nervous, guys. This bit's coming up that I don't like. <laughs> I've, I've hyped it up for so long. It's probably not going to be as hard as I thought it was. I remember it being. I got an achievement. I don't know what for. Who's got an achievement? It feels good. Look, you spider. Oh no. Oh god. Off here. Later in. But first, we do the right side. Oh, I remember this. This one took me a little while, a little hard, to, hard to figure out. Hang on. So yeah, fight first. Put it in there. And then fire it up there. I save it. No, cannot. Hmm. Let me see a scout of the area. I can't remember what you do here. Oh, okay. So then, if I... All right, yeah. This is a little. This is this was a little harder to figure out, but it does require the. This, these things here. Uh, no, I don't want that. God. See, if, in that case, I could just do that, and then it fires up. But... Oh god! Oh yeah. So I am up there. Let's go down. Right. No. Okay. Oh, that was weird. No. I'm making things overly complicated, I have to admit. Oh, you bastard. Should be thing we spawned. Can I just like fire it up there? Hang on. Yeah, I totally can do that. <laughs> ah, no, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, I think I did it wrong. 
Ah. Yeah, I didn't know. Yellow bastard, get out of here. Well, I can just, uh... Skip, like, half of it. By cheaping it out over right there. Quickly run. Um, no. Oh my fucking god. No, not that one. Oh my god. Fuck's sake. Oh, okay. Fine, they're possible. It's actually a lot easier than I'm making it out to be. I just can't aim for shit, apparently. I really don't want this to be a... I'm cool if it saved where it was going. But alas. Okay, this should be it. Okay. I'm gonna waste the soul link there, but whatever. Okay. Now we can restore the element of water. With this one rekindled, there's two more to go. Oh boy! Oh, what's that water? Okay, okay, this is where shit gets real. So this is the section I'm talking about. This is the water section. And this is what reminds me of instantly of uh, Rayman. Especially the first game, where there's a water rising level. But yeah, this is a... Uh, kind of... Yeah, kind of intense section, so I'm going to probably shut up. Oh. Oh, there we go. Died once. The only grab I have with this section is you have to wait for enemies to fire. Which is never fun. But, uh... I need out. I need out. See, see, it's gone in kind of intense really quickly. Uh. Okay, here we go. There we go. And he did. It only died once. The first time I did that, I died like 15 times. And also, can I just say, stockyards? Yeah, looks like stockyards. But no, honest to god, this is one of the most beautiful parts of the game. In terms of looks, it's so good. Uh oh. Not good. Not good.
Well, I'm alive! Good, good job, Gumbo. Gumbo. Can't get the names right. But it's fine, we've woke up in a island paradise by the looks of it. Nimble's waters are clear. It was down to waste. Elements of wind is next. Resting deep within the flower. Fall on ruins inside the misty woods. There's key. It'll open it. Before we do that, there's a lot more to do. There's a lot more to do. But, uh, I'm gonna see how long I've been recording for. 23! But, I think that'll be a good time to uh, call it. So, yeah, guys, okay, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. This will be the Thursday episode. So. I might see you. Yeah, I might see you tomorrow. Either way, I'll see you guys soon uh, with more ore in the Bind Forest. Until then, goodbye.